Hello everybody and welcome back to Garden Flipper. Where I, I was just like, yeah, you know what guys, I, I think I'm just in the mood for like doing gardening today, so I'm just gonna do some. Why not? Oh, look at the state on that house. Ew, look at the garden. Ew. Mine looks much better, but I do need to paint the outside. We will do that at some point and we will do this garden up nice at some point. But I don't think that that day is today. Apparently now we can chop trees in this game, which is amazing. Welcome, thank you very much. Let's go to the laptop and have a look at what kind of what kind of things we can do today. I'm slowly getting better at learning how to do bits and bobs around the garden, but I do still feel that I'm not as good as I could be yet. So I'm thinking let's just do a little bit more. Uh... Oh, we could play with the axe. Need my trees cut down. My garden after husband mowing. <laughs> Or we'll change the landfill to an outdoor gym. Why don't we do a mowing and cutting episode? I asked my husband to mow our lawn and probably for the first time since our wedding day, he did more than he had to. Unfortunately, my flower beds went into oblivion and I need my garden to be perfect. I need a shady place for napping and a sunlit spot to read. I've always loved symmetry and everything in my garden was symmetrical. Unfortunately, after my husband's actions, the garden is left in chaos. I would be very grateful for your help. Okay, let's have a look at the tree one. Maybe I'll do the tree one first, because that looks like I need to do a lot of planting and things. Okay, so I have a couple of my grandpa's trees growing in my backyard. He planted them ages ago, and they've grown big enough to cover the whole garden. There's no sun for my lovely flowers, and I dream of a sweet, colourful garden, and some sunbathing on the terrace. Oh, I love a bit of sunbathing on a terrace. I need at least two of those trees cut down. Can I count on you? Oh, and while you're on it, could you also add a nice little pond next to the terrace? That's all I need. Trees and a pond. I will take care of the flowers. Okay. Katazina S. That's probably not how you say that name. <laughs> but, okay. Let's go and do that. So I need a couple of trees to cut down and then a pond. I think we can do that. I've never put a pond in, in this game before. So that's the thing. We have unlocked the axe. Removing large trees requires their beheading. <laughs> That's a bit extreme. I didn't know that trees had heads, but never mind. You'll definitely need an axe. Remember, however, for safety, the tree should be cut as low as possible. Okay. Surely, to be safer, you should cut the tree down in stages. But never mind. We'll we'll just roll with it. It's fine. So, which which trees need to come down then? All of them. All the trees. There's a tree there that seems to need to come down. I'm looking at my mini map here for once in my life. Yeah, so I think all these trees in the front need to come down by the looks of it. So let's start with this one then. So I'll cut down the tree. So I need to go low. It says go low. Oh, this is good. This is super satisfying. I like. So this was the one thing that people really wanted in the game. They were really asking, like, we need to be able to chop down trees. And they were like... You asked, so we provided. Gosh, it takes a bit of bit of legwork. Um, do I need to maybe just go all the way around or something? Aha! The tree has been properly cut. Now you can throw out the trunk. You must aim lower to cut the tree correctly. How do I throw out the trunk? I do not know. Okay. I don't know how to throw out a trunk. Do I do it with my hand? Ha ha! That is how I do it. Nice. So it seems like you can only go so far and then you need to kind of go around a little bit and chop a, another bit and then eventually it'll just fall down. There we go! Timber! Oh no, it fell in the neighbor's yard! <laughs> Sorry! Oh my goodness, there are cars there and everything. Oh, they need to mow their lawn. Okay. Uh, last one. So, 
I'm chopping down these trees and it's not helping me with my progress. So this may not be the trees I need to chop, but oh well. <laughs> la la la, chop down trees, didn't need to chop. But it was a good, good practice. I mean, that garden looks so much better now with just one tree. <laughs> I'm terrible, a terrible gardener. Yeah, so you only need to do the ones with red on them, right? <laughs> Maybe I need to plant them a new tree. But I think these ones are the ones that are overshadowing the terrace for the sunbathing. So it needs to be chopped. Mostly, I'm not too worried about like if I sometimes do things wrong in these challenges. It's more about getting the experience with doing, with planting, with laying turf, with spreading gravel, with working out how to do things of different heights and different, you know, buildings and uh, there's a lot of stuff. Do we, have we got any progress here? I cut that tree. What you on about? Cut the tree zero out of two, but the tree has been cut. I don't know what's happening here. This has only just been implemented, so there is a chance. This is a terrible cut to this tree. There is a chance that it might not be quite implemented as well as the things that have been in longer. That tends to be the case with newer features. You still make a pond though. Oh no, it's falling on my head. Ah, oh, I fell on the house. Ah! This is actually kind of fun. Oh, I see. They sink into the ground. Magical. Magical trees off to the underworld. Okay. Yeah, I cut... I cut the two trees. Why is it telling me I've only cut one? No. All right, okay, it realizes now I walked out and in that I only have to do a pond now. So bury and fill oblong formed pond. I do not know how to do this. I will buy a pond and see what happens. It's not like I normally do. I will sort it out and then work out the exact uh, things later, the exact ways to do it later. Okay, uh, where is it? So other architecture, architecture? Oh, that's like bridges and stuff. Fences, plants, recreation, decorations, furniture. Other? Is it pond under other? Tool house. Oh, I could do one of those in my house. Hmm. Clothes dryer. Why do we need clothes dryers outside? No one needs a clothes dryer outside. You need a big line outside. Or a whirly gig one. No, no one. Those are like indoor ones. Um, um, that's not surfaces. Recreation? I don't really think a pond is recreation. Pizza oven, nice. I always wanted a garden with a pizza oven. So does Avac actually, but we're too lazy to build one. All right, um, recreation. I can I never find anything. All right, let me just like type in pond. There we are. <laughs> Oblong formed pond in beige white because that's like totes white. That's white, guys. Brownie colour. The grey looks nice. The black, no, not so much. Yeah, I like the grey. By now. So, where would be a good place to put this? Anywhere around here, apparently. Put it in the middle of their terrace. I don't think so. So, I want to... Yeah, let's go Let's go with here. And then E to insert the pond. I've got to dig a hole for it. Nice, okay. I love how easy this is compared to things in real life. La 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 la. Put the soil around. Oh, lovely. Fill with water. It's just like planting plants. Wonderful! We have a pond. Could have gone a bit further back, honestly, but never mind. It's the first time I've ever made a pond. I'm very happy with this. 
All tasks complete. Oh, is that like everything they need me to do? Okay, so I've learned to chop down trees and to insert ponds. This is good. I, I yeah. Made $350 off that. That sucks. That's like the worst. I spent ages on that. I spent a whole like 10 minutes on that. My goodness. Okay, let's do the other one with the flowers and stuff. Unless it looks like there's a better one. Landfill. Okay. I'm liking the look of this one, actually. How are you? Here's the thing. Together with our neighbours, we've decided to take care of the garbage dump on the area of an abandoned parcel located right next to our houses. Local authorities already gave us the right to turn that place into an outdoor gym. We already gathered a notable sum, but we're still looking for someone able to do the job of disposing of all the trash and installing the right surface and setting the gym up. What do you think? Okay, this is what we will do for the rest of- Oh, look how much rubbish- Why do I get so excited about cleaning up rubbish in this game? Oh, I don't know, but I do. Remove trash. I'll tell you why, because I've actually got a really high, well I did have a really high level, I don't know if I still do. If I look at my perks, I used to have... Um, I used to have, under the house flipper thing. Yeah, dispose of trash in range, so I've still got all of that, so I can dispose of trash super quick. I need to clean that surface and all the graffiti and stuff. Oh, this is nice. I like it. Oh, no. A rabble is falling on my head. So this would take ages without the trash in range thing. Pick up a shovel and dig. Dig that rubble. Dig that rubble. Get rid of it all. Oh, I quite like that. That's a new thing, digging rubble. I like this game. It's fun. It's fun to clean up stuff. I'm doing this because I feel kind of guilty that I'm not out cleaning my own garden up, which needs to happen before moving happens. I have a lot of work to do. Oops. Okay, you can put away the shovel, back to the hand. Put away all the stuff. Ah, lovely. Oh, we need to paint the little dog house. We need to make it better. So the pooches can come while people are at the gym. Doggy ball as well. Okay, keep removing trash. Removing all the bottles. Uh, the bottles are terrible if you don't have range uh, disposal. They're really bad. It's been ages since I've done this, so. Had a really, really dirty place to clean up. Or weeds as well. Now, the weeds I might get my hedge trimmer to do in a minute. But they've clearly been having pizza parties out here without me. That sucks. At least invite me. Okay, an old sofa. I think that'll need to be sold. Get rid of all the rubbish, but I, I like the sofas and stuff. I don't think we're gonna want those for the outdoor gym, are we? No better already. Cement and I cold. I was waiting for like, I don't know, one of those pallets to end up on my head or something just then. There you are. It's looking much better. And then we're going to just dig all these rubble piles out. Nice. I want to mop that surface over there. Or pressure wash it or whatever the equivalent is. Okay, 
I think we're nearly done with the rubbish. Oh, that Without area cleaning, that would have been a huge job. Massive job. Still got a few bits. That one. That one. Cement over there. A little pile of stuff over here. Some stuff in the grass. Okay, I think we've removed all of the rubbish, but we haven't done the weeds or mowed the lawn or got rid of the rubbles. Remove piles of rubbish. That must be piles of rubble, right? Because we've done 78% of the trash. I'm going to try and do the... Um, I'm going to try and dig the... There we are. Dig the trash piles out, sorry, the, the rubble piles out, and I'll see if there's any trash like underneath them or anything, because I apparently have only done 78% of the trash. But I cannot see any more trash anywhere, so... I don't know what that's about, whether there's maybe trash underneath the rubble piles or something. I wonder if there's any way to be faster with digging rubble piles. Okay, negotiation. Got two points. I've got a couple of gardener points. Oh yeah, you can get like a bigger shovel or something. Let's get the bushy shovel. And maybe a better, either a better axe or better molehills. I'll see what comes up first. Okay, so I've got a better shovel now. Oh yes, this is a much better tool. And it looks better too. It looks super good. Clear through those rubble piles in and a, a jiffy with the beezy shovel. What is a beezy shovel? Something like that. I would love a shovel where, like, literally you shovel up some dirt and it just disappears. You don't, you don't have to put it in the bin or anything. That's great. I want that shovel. Yeah, see, there's all these, like, rubbish piles uh, amongst the rubble. It's all underneath, you see, look. That's why. That's what I thought might have been the case. That there was just rubbish hiding under the rubbish piles. And that's exactly what happened. But while I have the shovel out, I may as well do all of the, all of the shoveling at once. And then do all of the cleaning. And then we get on to the cool part, which is uh, cleaning the graffiti, mowing the lawn, and designing the new gym. And, and like making a nice surface there. Oh, this is a good one. I like, I love the cleaning up ones, and I don't know why. And everyone's like, you should do viscera cleanup detail. And I'm like, I do. Last time I did it, I managed to get 100% on the level as well. It took a while. It took like an hour to do. I'm not a speedrunner at it at all, but I'm very thorough. And obviously, I'm not going to, um, you know, leave anything. Everything's going to look beautiful by the time I leave this uh, this area. So all the rubble piles are going to get dug up. Regardless of what it, whether it tells me to or not. I mean, I imagine it probably wants me to do all of them anyway. And this shovel is definitely helping. Uh, there's a lot of people really wanting lawn mowers in this. Like, I think it was really, they were really like, oh, do we ask for lawn mowers? Or do we ask for trees to be chopped down? And I think people chose trees to be chopped down, but I think if they ask again what the next thing is to add to the game, it's gonna be lawnmowers. So give us a proper lawnmower. A tractor one that we can sit on and then give us a level with a massive field. I know what the people want. <laughs> Lovely. Nice and clean. Right, so now we're getting there. We are getting there. The rubble 
The rubble is gone now. A lot of the rubbish is gone. It's saying that only 98% of the trash over here is gone. Oh, I've got to remove the doghouse. Oh no, but where will the doggos live? I imagine I have to remove the dog bowl too and all this junk over here. So we'll just do a little sale of all this then. Oh, we get to do some turfing. Nice. So remove weeds, lay concrete cube, double T, mow the lawn, plant coniferous shrubs. So it's all planting and stuff like that. So I think all of the stuff's been removed now. Clean dirt. So I need my mop out really. So will my garden hose work for this then? Can I clean with the garden hose? I can. You can use the garden hose for so much cool stuff in this game. Beautiful! Okay, there's some footprints over here. It's like a it's like a mop. Like a pressure washer. Okay, cool. Um Now we need to mow the lawn and remove all the weeds. Let's do that just around everywhere. And then I will individually go and look at what is needed. Come on, you little weeds down there. You know you need to die. There were dandelions as well. My most hated of weeds. I have a real thing against dandelions. You may know if you've watched any of these garden flippers before, that dandelions are not my favorite things. Oh, lovely, a little bit of power tool usage never goes, never goes amiss in a game like this. So we've got to get all of this neatened up before I start doing anything with surfaces. So you, you know, try and do things in a good order. So you get everything neatened. Now, I can see all the weeds and stuff on the mini-map, so there are a few that got missed there, look. Okay, so we've got some splotches, which is the just the graffiti there. That, that looks to me like a weed that needs to go. Okay. The weeds sometimes just take a little bit more of a... Oh, it's so nice to make, like, a community... I like the idea of this one, because it's like a community project. I quite like that. I like the idea that you just go and do a bit of gardening and, and sorting something out. And do a little community garden. And it's already looking like a million times more amazing. So I imagine that I'm going to garden hose down all the graffiti next as well. So that'll be my next job after I do the trimming. I have a new gardening skill available. I think I might now have all of the gardening skills unlocked. Oh, please tell me I can get that bit. No, why won't it? Why won't you die? No! Why is there little long bits of grass that won't die? Ah, They're not showing on my minimap, they're not counting, but I can still see them. Okay, I was being kind of um, quite methodical until I got to that corner. I'll come back to that corner in a second. I'll do it sort of easier to grab to get bits, and then I'm going to have to try and really work on that corner. A lot of trees and things in the way. I don't know if the trees need to go, really, or what. Yeah. Last couple of weeds up there. The weed on the ground there. Right, let's come back down this way. Remove this little bit of weeds. Come on, off you go. Off you go. I don't know if I need to pull those by hand, maybe. I'm being quite lazy and strumming all the weeds just now, but you know. Uh, you can see the weed over there. 
Okay, it looks to me like there's like a little patch of unstrimmed stuff along here. There we are. I'm just looking on the mini map, just gra grabbing any bits that look like they haven't been done properly. There we are. Right. Do you have about seven? It's saying like that there's quite a few different boxes looking at it in this area. It's actually quite a fun task. It might take me a while. But I don't care. I know how to chop down trees now. I'm ruler of the world. That's all you need to do to rule the world, is to be able to chop down trees. Because I said so. How am I meant to chop this grass with all the trees in the way? Man. Might need to get rid of the trees. And the bushes there, because, like... They are quite in the way of me actually mowing the lawn. I'll see how much I can do just standing around them, but I, I'm not too hopeful that I can get the whole thing done. Oh no, maybe, actually. Yes, I have. I've managed to do it around the trees. Okay, cool. Uh, there's a bit along the hedge line there. Not quite going. There we are. Right, so now I need to evenly spread. And I don't need to remove the trees for it, I don't think, if I do it right. So in this area, we need to have even grass. I'll probably go all the way from down here. This one, I have apparently have not mowed the lawn correctly. Wow. Okay, let's get the hose pipe out, because I before I start adding i would like to make sure i have done cleaning we'll get everything nice and clean like it hasn't told me to clean the oh it has actually told me to clean the graffiti uh same clean dirt i'm not seeing any more dirt along here no there is no no more dirt no more dirt okay yeah that's cool has realized that I have cleaned all the graffiti. There's a little bit of graffiti on that house over there. Let's get that. Bye bye. Oh, look how much nicer this is looking already. Let's have a good old look and try and make sure that I've got done everything I need to do. Right, so it looks to me like there's a bit of like grass sticking up over here for some reason. Oh no, that has been trimmed. That's fine. Okay. I think we're good to start, like, rolling turf and things like that now. So, mow the lawn. Ooh, I missed a bit. There we are. Lovely. Is that all good? Yes. Okay, so let's get... Let's start rolling. Let's start rolling, rolling, rolling. The, uh, turf. Right, so... Surfaces. Turf. Big roll. By now. Oh, don't make me do this with small rolls. It's going to make me do this with small rolls, apparently. All right, okay, let's go back. Go back. Try, we'll try a normal sized turf roll. That looks good. Okay, we can do that. Ugh. Oh no, I did it wrong. I always do this. I'm terrible. Waste of money. I always forget to roll it. What a noob. Wonderful. So let's get some small rolls. I don't know why that suddenly went like that along there. Because that was a bit weird. I, I don't know. So we're 66% of the, the rolling of the turf. Still got a bit more to do. So we'll get some small rolls and we'll just fill out the little bits that got missed. Yeah. 
Yeah, it looks to me like there's just a little bit there that didn't really get very well covered. So we'll just cover that over. There's a little bit down there as well. I should have done the by many really, but let's just go from here. I like it that the small turf kind of generally goes over the top and you can fill in all the little spaces with it. It's, it's quite forgiving in that way. So let's cut that. Wonderful, so we've got a nice little bit of lawn there with a tiny bit missing. <laughs> what? No, I cannot have little gaps. This is bad for business. Roll, roll, roll. There we are. It seems to be that if it, that if there's grass and then there's paving, that the grass will sit under the paving. So even if you just do a little bit, sort of, um, go a little bit over the paving, it seems to work fairly well. So we've done all of that little section. Nice. So this is saying mow the lawn. I'm guessing it must be that little section there. It has not been done. Or something. Oh no, so where where is this lawn that has not been mowed? I'm not seeing it. It all looks pretty mowed to me. I mean, I can see some unmowed lawn around here. Maybe that's causing issues. And a weed. One weed. Sitting on its own. Okay, have we done now? Yes. Nice. I just found that bit, obviously. So, what have we got to do in section nine? Place some coniferous shrubs. Okay. Box three. Over here. Concrete paving slabs. Okay, so we need another couple of paving slabs there. Right, okay. I can do that. So they probably need to match. Uh, paving slabs. Concrete paving slabs, 100 by 100. Okay, I'm just gonna put in concrete. Or concrete. There is no concrete paving slab. I'm gonna just get the ones that match these and see if that works. They seem to be these concrete cube double T's. Let's see how much that matches. That seems to match well. Oh, I should have done a buy many. Oh, we'll buy another one. It's fine. And then that needs to go in. Oh. Yucky. Pick up. I'm just gonna like shove you back a little bit. There we are. Wonderful. Let's go out of there and see if that it says oh it still wants me to blape. Oh. But I matched it to what was there already. I hate it when I can't find what it wants me to lay. I mean, that makes so much sense to do that. But apparently it's wrong. Apparently it's so wrong. All right. There's no such thing as a concrete paving slab. Aha, uh -huh. no. Concrete paving slab. Oh, here we are. All oh, right, so apparently we need to have completely non-matching ones. 
because that's gonna look so good. Yeah. Maybe I could make it a different color to slightly make it better. Okay, we'll go with that. Okay, well, it doesn't look so bad, um, I guess. All right, at least we've done that now. So what do we need to do over here? Okay, so this is gonna be like, apparently some kind of um, bed over here. So we'll do that later because, because we will. Because I decided. That's also gonna be a bed. Okay, so two beds. What about in the middle here? So the middle bit here needs to be all sand. So that's going to be an absolute nightmare to get right. But apparently they've made some improvements to scattering sand, so we'll see. Maybe. Maybe it won't be so bad. Stone aggregates. Oh, we've only got s square sand. Oh, do you know what? Let's just search sand. Sand surfaces. 28 pence. Nice. Buy many. Thank you. Okay. Oh, yes, it doesn't. Oh, okay. This is much better than it was. You can be very more, a lot more precise with it. Okay. Yeah, I'll be quite precise going around the edge. I mean, quite. Oh no. Didn't mean to do that. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do when it gets to the um, very edge. Probably just go under there. <laughs> just under there. Whether I could put a square of sand there to mix it, I don't know. I wanna, I wanna try it. Like, let's see if I can put a sand square in, or whether that's just so mismatched. No, it does match. Nice. Does it count? Okay, let's just see if we put a load of squares of sand. Oh, it counts. Okay, nice. It didn't count before, and I was like, oh my goodness, the squares of sand are so bad. They don't count, and that's the only way I'm going to get a nice line here at all. So yes, they, they seem to have listened to people's worries about getting nice lines. important to people, you know? They're nice straight lines. Thinking along here, I'll put the sand under the gravel. Under the stones, sorry. There's no gravel here. Yeah. It's gonna follow the green line, you see. Can I make it any bigger? Oh, that's the biggest it'll go, so that will save me the most time. So it is quite a large area. Let me overlay it, please. I'm gonna have to remove it. Yeah, 
gonna have to remove that one block there. No, stop doing that. Oh, I can hold to remove. Uh, uh, nice that I can remove it without having to go into a different menu. Let's go remove that one. Oh, I see. Why is that one little bit that's not... Oh, okay, never mind. We'll cope with that. But yes, absolutely. When they said they've um, improved surfaces, absolutely so much better than it was. I think that I sometimes think when I put out videos that with me doing things terribly, sometimes it, it, it inspires devs to make things uh, more user friendly. That's clearly my role in, in the universe to do things so terribly that all the devs are like, oh no, are they really struggling this hard with it? And then I'm like, yes, they are. Mwahaha. Once I've done the edges, it'll be a little faster. But we're not going to have horrible edges, you see. Because that would suck. Let's do the corner. And then I may need to fill in around it. Oh, I did the corner wrong. Grr. to be more like that. Lovely! Look at that. That's so much better than the last time I tried to put sand down. Oh yes, much better. So now we can just go This is the fun bit. Filling it all in. to be all sandy and yum and then we'll do some more edges in a second and then we'll plant some plants well this is a lot more fun a because they've improved the sand scattering to include the squares which really helps with the edges and also they've just generally improved putting down sand so yeah really good so much better. Things like having a nice edge, that's important, you know. Super important. Getting all the edges to line up, it would be really good if there was some sort of tool to help you keep these snapped. I don't mind that there isn't. Oh, gee. But you certainly can't just run up and down with it. Gotta be like nice and careful. And even when you are careful, it doesn't work off their time. Wow. Ah. Just trying to keep that little yellow line going there, you see, just slightly into the green area there. I'll roll turf all over this and it'll totally ruin it, you watch. Be really careful with the turf rolling. We're nearly there, guys. Sorry this has to be so precise, but I insist that it has to be. Just fill in all these little gaps along here. I 
hope this adds up to 100% and I don't have to go over it. I really hope it does. Imagine how badly this would go if I was using tiny little uh, sections and I didn't realise you could make them bigger, like I didn't last time. Which would go very slowly. I hope they appreciate the effort I'm going to here. Okay, so the sand is beautiful. But the sand is 97% done, even though it fills the whole area. Why? It could go a little bit over, over here. It might be enough to push it to like 98% or so. Other than that, I really don't know what I've done wrong. And that's covered the whole thing. Oh, it's so frustrating when it's not enough. Not covered enough. What have I done wrong? I mean, the whole entire area is covered with sand. So where am I supposed to find an extra 3% from? Doesn't look like that helps. A little bit of grass sticking up over here. No, it's definitely like completely covered. I know, understand. Let's try just going all the way up to the next bounding box over here and see if that counts. It's gonna drive me mad if it's not a hundred percent. That hasn't even increased it at all. I mean that's definitely the the bounds of it there. There's definitely no gaps. Let's try going out of it and back in. And that still thinks it's 97%. That's really frustrating. Super, super frustrating. Guys, sort it out. Give us a couple of percent, like, leeway on that. Oof. Because I don't understand what I need to do here. To make that 100%. I don't want to go around destroying my beautiful edges that I've just like spent ages doing just so I can try and work out how to get that to 100%. That's really frustrating. Anybody in the comments has worked out what I've done wrong? I, I can't see it myself, but sometimes you can't see for looking, you know? So I would love to know. Sort of I'm trying to work out if that is definitely outside the box so like they unless they've drawn the boxes wrong, you know what I mean? Do I need to do turf over? I need to do turf over here, so what I'm actually gonna do just lay the sand out 
like this. I know, I spent ages doing that. And that's given me 98%. I'll maybe just pop that in like that. Is it turf on this side as well? It's not. Oh, it's paving over here. So again, let's just do sand in a fairly... And so what is it over here? Turf again. So yeah, we can be pretty, like, honestly, we don't have to be too careful with the sand, actually. See how that... Yeah, we have done. We're done. That's fine. Nice. So then I'll just, like, even it out by laying turf over the top of it. Okay, so now we'll do some turf, I think. So over here, we want turf here. Turf all around the edges, seemingly. And a patio over that side. Nice. This is going to be long. I'm sorry. Like, sometimes they just are. Like, they just take me time. So, bleh. <laughs> uh, surfaces. Turf sod. Big turf roll. Roll that turf. Let me make sure it's just very slightly outside the bounding box again. No, no, I wanna, I wanna roll it. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a nice one to do. This is a really nice one to do. Oh, I like this because it's really long. <laughs> oh no, I've got that long man thing in my head that Avag put up on Twitter the other day. That was such a good love story. This is going to look so nice at the end. Okay, I'm going to need to do some little bits of patching up down there. We'll do one more long roll down here. Why do I do this to myself? I can see a patch down there. I may as well keep rolling because there's a patch down there that needs doing. Look. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. I swear I'm taking so long on this one, it's going dark. Yes, those trees are in the way. Okay, let's get some little tiny turf rolls and do some patching over here. Probably like a small, like a medium turf roll here would probably just finish it off. Let's get that nicely. Uh... Why do I get the feeling? Okay, let's get it completely in line. Sometimes it's hard to see the lines because of all those squares, but we'll do we'll do that. Oh no! <sighs> I wasn't far enough back. There we are. That's better. Right. So that should all look quite nice now. Is there a way to like turn off all these like green boxes and stuff? Looking nice, like quite nice now. Considering it was a garbage dump before, that's it's actually starting to look quite good. Right, let's get some turf, some big turf again. I'll just buy many because we're going to have to do a few over here. Boop. 
I don't understand why I did that. That was weird. Okay. Um, use. Spread. So yeah, when you get on these really big projects, I can see why having the, the turfing thing. In fact, that's something I'm going to do now. I'm going to go into the perk screen and I'm going to do faster unfolding from the roll. We'll also get the axe and then the next time I get a skill point, we'll do the moles and then we'll be fully skilled up at that point. It's getting really dark though. I don't like it because I'm not going to be able to see my nice pretty garden. Can I like change the time? <laughs> I actually don't feel that a game like this needs a day-night cycle as much, but... I don't know, maybe it does. I don't feel it really does, though. The buy many didn't work very well, to be honest. Because you've got to... Yeah, yeah, you're better off just, like, buying them one at a time looking at it. It doesn't let you roll it before you buy the next one, which is a bit frustrating. Get that one, I'll get that one done and then we'll start using the smaller turf rolls. But I'm finding it kind of hard to see at this point. Anything that I can do in the options or anything like that. Um, eco lighting system. Day and night mode. Disabled. Thank you, that's much better. I don't like it when you can't see because it's blinking night time. That's better. Right. <laughs> I can see so much better now. Yeah, I just don't see the point when you're trying to do the garden of having it be the middle of the night. It's just annoying. Why didn't that equalize with the paving? No. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, okay, never mind. Right, what I kind of need to do here, I think, is to actually turn it. Turn you around. And then I can sort of just finish that little edge there. <laughs> okay, this isn't working so great. I think I can put sand over grass though, so I might be able to just do a little bit of doohickey with the sand. I think that might be a good idea actually. So I do want to finish off with this edge, at least get it kind of square. Um, no, small turf roll here. I do find the turf a little bit difficult to always get exactly right, as you may be able to tell. always seems to somehow be sticking out in the wrong place. I, I don't know. Especially when you get to these little patches here. Oh gosh, what a mess am I making here? What a mess. What a gigantic mess. helped with that bit anyway at least seems like it leaves a bit of a weird artifact sometimes when you use the roll but it seems to go after time so we'll see how that works out in the end oh that was bad oh that was so bad left a massive gap in the lawn Keep buying more little rolls of turf. I am the world's most awesome gardener. Let's 
why they hire me for all this stuff Cause I'm so good Well, we are starting to get somewhere with this anyway Was there a patch of sand I had not done? <gasps> that was me looking everywhere for that but I couldn't see, that's the thing. Like, I can't see when it gets to night time. It's really bad. So I like to turn off day night. Tell me guys, do you play with the day night or do you just like turn it off and go, nah, I can't be bothered with this. What am I even doing now? I want more turf, more turf, more turf. Big turf. Bye now. Big turf. Okay, let's go around this way. And uh, I want... I want to turn the turf all around. And we want to be going... Uh, from about here, I think. I'll go back as far as I can. Try to get myself a nice edge. Oh, that'll do. Yeah, that's fine. Why is it rolling not straight? Oh no. Is it me or did that not roll straight? Is it possible? Oh, I didn't turn it right. 